Stephanie Mosley was born on February 14, 1984 in Vancouver, Canada. And from a very young age, she knew that she was born to dance. At the age of two, she joined her first ballet class. And as a kid, she won multiple youth dance competitions. And eventually she was invited to go to Japan to be a dancer at Disneyland. And at the age of 17, she decided that she was going to leave Canada for the bright lights of Hollywood. And after arriving in L.A., she linked up with Eva Marcel from America's Next Top Model and Real Housewives of Atlanta fame. And according to Eva, they became very close and they made a pact with each other that they were going to make it in the entertainment game. And that's exactly what Stephanie set out to do. She would go on to get roles in movies like Catwoman, Out of Wild, um, the Jamie Foxx movie that was an NBC special in like 2006. He handpicked her to play his wife in that one. She was in Twilight. I mean, she did TV shows like Mirror Mirror, Psych. Uh, she probably most known for being on the TV show Hit the Floor, being a dancer on there. So she was definitely making moves. And in 2008, she married a, a rapper from Detroit by the name of Earl Hayes. And uh, Stephanie was, you know, she was doing very well. And even though she had got on the acting side of entertainment, she never forgot about her dance roots because, I mean, she danced for everybody. Britney Spears, Chris Brown, Usher, Beyonce, Janet Jackson. I mean, and they all had like great things to say about her as a person and as a dancer. But even though things were going great for Stephanie professionally, personally was a whole nother story because her and her husband Earl started to have constant fights over accusations of infidelity. Like I said, Stephanie had begun to rise in the entertainment game and the circles that they were running in, you know, it's a lot of a-list celebrity dudes so you know sometimes insecurities can arise and they were around people like Floyd Mayweather you know and being backup dancers for people like Chris Brown and Usher you know that could bring out the worst in a person and it definitely brought out the worst in Earl Hayes but from the outside looking in you probably would have never knew that they were going through all that turmoil because you know looking at their pictures from social media they were always surrounded by high profile people looking like they were having the time of their life. I mean, Floyd Mayweather was like Earl Hayes' best friend and he was a part of the money team. Now, it's been said that Earl Hayes had often spoke about harming himself over his wife and possibly taking his own life over losing his wife. I mean, matter of fact, this isn't a guess. It's for certain because... In 2010, Earl Hayes came out with a mixtape called First 48. And it's a song called Suicide on there where he openly speaks about committing a murder-suicide, killing himself and his girlfriend. If anyone asks why you did it, tell them life was a bitch, so shoot your girlfriend. And when you get surrounded by cops, fuck doing life. Shoot it out and do your time on the spot. Just do it, you fucking rookie pussy. What is you, nervous? Man, that's crazy, man. That's to hear him even rapping like that, that. That's just wild. And unfortunately, art would come to imitate life because in the early morning hours of Monday, December 8th, 2014, the LAPD responded to calls of hearing multiple gunshots along with a woman screaming at the apartment complex that Earl and Stephanie were living at. Initially, when the cops arrived on scene, they weren't able to enter the home because Earl Hayes had barricaded himself inside. But when they were finally able to break through, they heard one more gunshot. And once they arrived in the bedroom, they found Stephanie Mosley shot multiple times and Earl Hayes with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Now, it's said that her best friend, Eva Marcel, had to be the one to identify her body. And I know that tore her up, man. Seeing your best friend like that, man. And, and you know, a lot of celebrities started to put out their condolences, you know, because 
she had worked with a lot of different people and she was beloved by a lot of different people. And even though she had moved from Canada, she often visit, visited her family a lot. So they were still close as well. You know, so Stephanie had a lot of people that really, you know, loved her. And uh, with the circles that they were running in with people like Floyd Mayweather, this got a lot of media coverage of people trying to figure out what happened. And the initial thought of this story was that he found out his wife was having an affair with Trey Songs, and he lost it. And then the tragedy occurred. And with Trey Songs having the persona of Mr. Still Your Girl, I mean, it, it just kind of fit so perfectly. So everybody just ran with that. But eventually, 50 Cent would come out and say that it wasn't Trey Songs as the cause of that tragedy that it was actually Floyd Mayweather. And that's why Earl Hayes was FaceTiming with Floyd Mayweather before he shot and killed Stephanie Mosley because Floyd Mayweather had an affair with his best friend's wife. And I'm going to be honest, Floyd Mayweather did an interview where he spoke on this situation and he didn't really help himself in my opinion. My best friend called me on FaceTime. We was talking a little bit. He put Stephanie on the phone. I talked to her, and um, I could tell that they both were. It looked like they both were, they both were doing drugs and drinking real, real heavy. I could tell they'd been up all night. They was talking. I had the bath water running. He put it on Facetime. He got back on the phone. <clears throat> I'm kind of getting choked up from this. So then, I said, "Why are you calling me so early in the morning? How you know I'm up?" He said, "Cause I love you." And he said, "Um." There's something else you don't know. And, uh, and then I was like, huh? And then he he reached down and put out a gun. I like, I said, man, what are you doing with that gun? He started shooting, then he shot her. Shot her. And then he put the gun to his head. And then, and that's what it was. Then I had to bury my best friend. Man, it's so much speculation surrounding this story. But at the end of the day, nobody really knows for sure. The only two people who really know are unfortunately no longer with us. And Stephanie Mosley was a shooting star that was taken away from us way, way too soon. And she was only 30 years old when she died, man. Rest in peace, queen. <laughs>